TV coach. I spoke to the scouts, but nothing that was any more or less than than any of the other teams I was speaking with. So honestly, didn't didn't really know, you know, if they were super duper interested in me or, or anything like that. But as far as the things I think I can bring to the league, uh, I think I'm a playmaker. Um, if you look at my career, eight interceptions in 22 games, somebody who's extremely productive on ball. Um, and I think that's something I can bring to the league and it help take, help make takeaways. Amy Jess, or excuse me, Luke Johnson, the advocate. Hey, Paulson, welcome. Um, hey, how would you, uh, what's your best, uh, your favorite coverage to play in? Like, like what, what do you prefer to be in? Straight up, man. <laughs> Whenever I'm just locking up my dude, right, one-on-one, don't let the guy in front of you catch the ball. Um, but obviously, played at Stanford, we played a lot of different coverages, so I feel comfortable doing whether I'm playing in, you know, uh, zone three technique or if I'm playing uh, true squat technique. I feel like we played a lot of different things, man under, so I feel really well versed. Amy Just, the advocate. Yeah, welcome. Uh, welcome to New Orleans. Um, Thank you. How would you describe yourself as a person and as a player uh, to someone who is just learning about you? Uh, so myself as a, as a person, uh, someone who's very, very driven um, in, in everything that I do. Um, myself as a player, same way, someone who's driven, someone who's going to come in every day and be one of those guys that's the last person off the field and really just put everything out onto the field. Nick Underhill, New Orleans Duck Football. So, so I, I hear you mention that, that you're a playmaker and, and that you like locking down guys. Do, do you feel like you can be like a lockdown cornerback in the NFL? And do you feel like maybe you should have went a little bit higher in this draft? Honestly, I'm happy that, that I came to the Saints, right? Uh, one of my mottos is everything that happens had to happen. So not exactly, you know, where you go or how high you get picked, but the fact that I'm here, I'm happy to be here. So not really, you know, here to dwell on anything. Obviously, I sat out this season, so that probably had something to do with it. Um, if you look at my production, you know, passes defended, interceptions, any stat that that's a makeup of a good cornerback, then you can tell that I'm, I'm, I'm going to have the opportunity to be a lockdown corner. Fletcher Mackle, WDSU News. Have you uh, researched the Saints? Do you know about the situation here and their perceived need for a cornerback? And also, did you hear your coach talk about Sean Payton and the Saints, given the fact that, you know, David Shaw and Sean Payton did coach together 20 plus years ago? Just did they did he ever talk about this organization to you? Uh, not too much. Um, kind of don't really know too much about the organization, but happy to be here and happy to learn as I go. Andrew Duke, WWL TV. Hey, Paulson, congrats, man. Um, how, how, you kind of mentioned it a little bit. How much do you feel like the opt-out kind of did affect your draft draft stock? And was that something you maybe anticipated going into this year? And, and if you could provide a little context, just what all went into to opting out. And I know it's been a crazy year for everybody. Right. Obviously, you opt out. Um, that's that's going to have something to do with, with how teams are evaluating you. Obviously, they haven't seen me play in over a year so. I'm sure they had something to do with it. Um, for me, the decision to opt out just came with a lot of uncertainty, um, especially with the Pac-12, one of the last conferences to really get on board with even playing a season. So, you know, prior to the season, talking to everybody. And again, I always say it's not, you know, a time to point the finger at anybody in any direction to say, oh, we should have got more information because at the same time, nobody knew what was going on. So completely nuanced um, situation. But for me personally, just too much uh, uncertainty uh, surrounding you know, how many games you'd have to miss. If you test positive, would you have to miss two games, one game? Could you practice that week? So all those kind of different factors uh, led me to say, you know what, I'm going to opt out, train, and, and look to the next step. If, if, if I could follow up really quick, I mean, I, I know some guys that opted out, then they opted back in. I mean, what, did that cross your mind at all? Did you debate that? Oh, Paulson, you're muted. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Got you. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, not at all. I think that that was one of those decisions that I made. It was a tough decision. And once I made it, I just kind of went full, full tilt. So decided where I needed to go, train, decided what agent I was going to have, and then kind of never looked back. Luke Johnson, the advocate. Hey, Paulson, the, the numbers you put up your, your last two years are, are pretty uh, – Crazy. Eh? What would you kind of attribute that to? Uh, like, like how, how do you kind of approach the ball when it's in the air? Yeah, I mean, some of, that, some of that has to do with the fact that I played receiver growing up, so I'm comfortable with the ball in the air. 
but just just a lot of work I put in. Right, my 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 first year I redshirted, uh, didn't play, and that year kind of gave me a lot of time to work on a lot of the finer details. Obviously, coming from high school, um, you're playing. You know, I'm playing corner, but I'm not really learning the position. So once I got to college, learning under Coach Akina, which who I think is probably the best DB coach to do it at the collegiate level. Um, that that's an, all of those things that kind of helped me to be able to excel on the field. Nick Underhill, New Orleans Dot Football. One of the things that the scouting reports all seem to mention about you is your high football IQ. Is that just natural? Do you, is it a lot of film study, or is it a little bit of both? Or? Um, honestly, I got to credit my coach for that, uh, Coach Akina, the way he taught us the game. Um, not only knowing what you're doing, but knowing what the nickel's doing, knowing what the safety's doing, knowing what the backers are doing. And that being able to help you play faster. So definitely uh, credit that to my coach, my school, and my teammates. And last question for Doug Mouton, WWL TV. Yeah, hey, Paulson. Um, you're from the Dallas area, right? How, yes, how did sir. you wind up and why did you wind up at Stanford? What went into that? Yeah, I mean, obviously Stanford's a great school. Uh, one of those schools that when they do offer you, you really have to take a hard look at it, regardless of if you were looking at them beforehand. Um, but for me, uh, when I was going through my recruiting cycle, Christian McCaffrey was there. Solomon Thomas was there. Um, they were competing for Pac-12 championships, Rose Bowl championships. So before I even really knew about the brand of Stanford and what that can do for you, um, just looking at an exciting team and me being competitive, knowing that I can go there and still compete at a high level, that was intriguing for me. Thanks, Paulson. I appreciate your time, man. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you.